Good evening, I'm John Purvis. A major technology outage has snarled operations at companies around the world, impacting everything from airline flights to hospitals. The cybersecurity firm CrowdStrike says the outage is related to Microsoft cloud-based services and was not caused by a security incident or cyber attack. Here in the borderland, various agencies and businesses are being impacted. The Clint ISD superintendent says the global outage has severely impacted the school district's computer systems, security, and overall online network. U.S. Customs and Border Protection released a statement today saying it's also experiencing processing delays at ports of entry. This is a live look at the Zaragoza International Bridge in the Lower Valley. And this time-lapse footage shows more than 30,000 flight delays and 3,000 cancellations across U.S. airports this morning. CBS reporter Bradley Blackburn is here with an FAA warning about what could happen this weekend. At New York's LaGuardia Airport. So if you're here and you're going on the 39 to Atlanta, make your way to the gate. Airlines use megaphones to inform travelers about departing flights after the arrivals and departures boards went black. It looks like a scene from Gladiator. There's just a million people all around and it's kind of overwhelming, but you know, we're taking it in stride. The cyber outage left airlines around the world without access to check-in and boarding services, resulting in thousands of canceled or delayed flights. We're on standby, so... We're just waiting. <laughs> the cybersecurity firm CrowdStrike says the outage was caused by a faulty update to computers running Microsoft Windows. We identified this very quickly and rolled back this particular content file. Obviously, uh, many organizations are, are impacted. Planes are gradually getting off the ground, but the FAA warns flights across the country could be impacted through the weekend. We are in a Unprecedented situation. Some government operations, healthcare facilities, and small businesses were also impacted. But the New York Stock Exchange opened without a hitch. This is one of the first times that we can almost celebrate that this was not a threat actor. This wasn't somebody who, who hacked CrowdStrike. This isn't your computer getting hacked. This is an engineering mistake. And despite a delay in their travel plans. <laughs> we made friends in there, a whole group of friends. We're all different places, finally different airlines. These travelers stuck in Las Vegas are making the most of their situation. Bradley Blackburn, CBS News, New York. The same outage is also affecting flights in and out of El Paso International Airport. CBS 4 at 530's Julia Spencer is live at the airport in East El Paso to let you know how travelers there are dealing with the outage. Well, people who had plans to take off for this weekend were quickly disappointed to find out those plans were canceled, including their flights. Now, right behind me here at the airport, you can just see a small line of people waiting to see if they can check into their flight and get to the destination they're trying to go. Now, this is just one line of many that we've seen today, um, and this is all after airlines were either canceled or delayed after their flights um, were grounded because of today's outage. They canceled our flight for today. Their programs were going down, their systems. No, I'm just disappointed because I'm not going to be able to fly in. A worldwide outage for Microsoft and CrowdStrike has affected the nation and other countries globally. One big effect of this outage includes the grounding of flights nationwide. Airlines that were affected include United, American and Delta Airlines. Uh, I woke up just as per usual, regular routine, showing up to the airport, uh, checked in, had my flight details. As I walk into the terminal past TSA, uh, I was just anxious about getting on that flight. And as soon as I arrived to my terminal or my gate, uh, pretty much canceled flight. Flights at the El Paso International Airport were either delayed or canceled due to this outage, leaving many people with no plans and no way to get their money back. I'm not going to get my money back. They're going to refund, but all my plans, everything, my kids, we're all... We're trying to see flights. I mean, if anything, you know, try to see something that fits in the budget. These canceled flights are leaving people to miss out on big plans for this weekend with nothing but disappointment. I understand the outage, but they should at least give us anticipation so we don't even have to show up here. I was just disappointed because, you know, we were looking forward for our family reunion now. Uh, we had plans to go to Vegas, you know, go to a Marshmallow concert. It was going to be our first time going out there too. 
Now, some fights were able to take off today, but others are still dealing with the consequences of that outage because of their flights either being delayed or canceled all over the country. And some people are still hoping to see if they can get a refund. I'm live in East El Paso, Julia Spencer, CBS 4 at 530. The White House says President Biden has been briefed on the CrowdStrike outage and his team is in touch with the company and impacted entities. Just a few hours ago, Microsoft CEO Satya Nadella wrote in a post on X, quote, yesterday CrowdStrike released an update that began impacting IT systems globally. We are working closely with, Cloud, with CrowdStrike and across the industry to safely bring their systems back online, end quote. 